Hello and good day everyone. This is our part 2 video. A continuation of our dual ISP full setup. In our Mangle rules, I just wanted to insert under PCC rules. Our PPPoA server reads. I will just copy one of the existing setup. And just rename the interface into PPPoA bridge. Then I will make the same process for the PCC of the ISP2. Replace the in interface into bridge.pppoe. Then again, I will make additional mark root for our pppoe. One for the ISP1 and also for the ISP2. In the address list, I made a correction to my LAN IP. From 19.168.0.0, 24 to 19.168.80.0, 24. And I made an additional route for my download. I use protocol TCP using port 80. Now in the hotspot server user profile. In my ML bandwidth, I only assigned 1 MB 1 MB in the max limit. To make this script work for the hotspot server, simply put dollar address in the target as you have seen in the video. Then I add another line for my download. I assigned to MB 2 MB for the max limit. And I also put a remove command from my on down script. Now I will open the hotspot portal. Now we have an active hotspot account. We will check if this user's bandwidth already displayed at our queues, simple queues. So okay, it already appears here. So now, we will check if the assigned bandwidth to this client is really applied. I will run a speed test. We'll see if it the user's bandwidth limit is already working. Okay, so it didn't work. So to fix this problem, let's go back to our simple queues. The allocated bandwidth should be seen here in this area. In fact, it passes through up here to divert this traffic and we will make it passes to our created route. We could just simply click and delete this default hotspot queues. And then we will try to run the speed test again and we will see if we fix the issue. All right, and now it is work. And as we've seen in our screen, our simple queues is now working perfectly fine. It already allocates the bandwidth where we specifically assign to our hotspot user. This type of bandwidth allocation is more advantage and very specific than to create the usual bandwidth limit setup. First to this type of setup, 
it allocates specifically to each type of usage, and it is more advantage specially to our gamer users. Even if some user are downloading, it can affect or interrupt to some others allocated bandwidth, specially gamers. Like for example, we will try to download. We will see if it affects or it will eat the others allocated bandwidth. But as we've seen in our screen, the download's still running consistently, but it prioritized the speedest. Because we set the speedest and the ML game into priority one. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. This concludes our dual ISP full setup video. Please stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you next time.